Bono's is back. And today, Bono's AFL. Takes the mark. Takes the mark. How many of you are sitting at home now have to make a choice? Do I support rugby league? Or do I follow Izzy and Kay and switch to AFL? Let's go. Well, today I'd like to make a comparison between the two and let you decide at home which sport is better. Both codes have their own royalty. For the NRL, it's King Wally Lewis, and for the AFL, it's King Wayne Carey. Let's compare the playing stats of these two great men. King Wally played 31 State of Origins, was captain in 30 of them, and man of the match eight times. King Wally played 33 matches for the Kangaroos, and in 1999, King Wally was named an immortal. In 2002, King Carey hooked up with his best mate's missus. <laughs> it's hard to separate them, really. Both great kings. Take a look at the better halves of these two types of footballers, and you tell me who comes out in front. Firstly, on Rugby League's Night of Nights, the Daly M's. Oh, yeah. Damn, she's hot. Mm-mm-mm. And now check out the AFL's finest at the Brownlow Medal. Ow! That's sexy. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm, bang, chicka, bang. Oh, you got... Some of those AFL players are punching above their weight, I reckon. Both codes have cousins. AFL has Ben Cousins, one of the greatest pharmacists ever to play football. <laughs> well, the NRL has... Holy sick cousins. <laughs> cousins. Doggies. 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 So who's the sexier footballer? The NRL player or the AFL player? I know the NRL players are sexy. You've got Benji Marshall, Chris Lointon, Matt Cooper, Kirk Gidley, all. Kirk Gidley's not that sexy, but he's a good bloke and looks on everything. So I'm dressed as an AFL player to find out just how sexy the AFL players are. You want, you want what you see? Yes, I like you very much. Yeah, very Thank much, eh? <laughs> If I was a girl, you know, eight out of ten, maybe. Why only eight? So you're not, you're not the Ledbo, bro. What about Robbie Farrer? He's Ledbo. He doesn't get any girls. You know he's Ledbo, no. Oh yeah, that's right. You gotta watch out for that. All right, bro. Thank you. My short shorts. No. On guys. No, I'm a lesbian. Oh wow. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. Take care. <laughs> now let's talk about the shorts for a moment, because I know everyone at home's thinking about it. And at no stage do I think it's wrong to wear shorts that your mum bought you when you were seven years old from Pumpkin Patch. But it has been scientifically proven that shorts that are way too tight result in a lower sperm count. And here's the proof. Here is what an NRL player's sperm sample should look like. <laughs> wow. It's quite a large sample there, Dill. Congratulations. I'm just going to grab one from over here. See a human sample. It's quite small. <laughs> Kill me. So lads, if you've had enough kids and you don't want a vasectomy, play AFL for a while. <laughs> Both codes have doggies. The NRL has the Canterbury Bulldogs. Doggies, bye, hectic doggies. The AFL has the Western Bulldogs. Go the doggies. <laughs> <laughs> Not the wrong. Oh, you dare do that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Bad man. So I hope this has helped you make your decision. Rugby league for life and go the West Tigers. Oh!